morning all, happy new year and all that. It's a Monday morning for me, Monday the 3rd, so it's the first day back after the the kind of Christmas break, so, you know, slow start getting back into it, but uh, yeah, not exactly sure what the plan is for today even. I've just got, I've got some new leather to look at. Um, the shop's kind of been closed, I haven't been taking orders, so yeah, we need to get everything back up and running. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the plan for today, I've decided, is to check out some of the leather that I bought. I made a video, one of these Vlogmas videos I made. Uh, I don't remember which one, but anyway, I, I went to visit a leather supplier in, in December and I uh, got some, some stuff off of him and plus some samples of new stuff to try as well. I didn't really spend too long talking about the leather I bought. I just showed a clip of me unpacking it, but uh, anyway, in case you didn't see that or whatever, I'm just gonna, I'll show you the leather I bought just now, anyway. So the first piece is just uh, a big old bit of veg tan. This is, I don't know, it's like three and a half, maybe four millimeters thick. I have a couple of ideas. I want to make a belt for myself, first of all, but I have uh, an idea for another couple of projects. Not actually to sell, but just for myself. Uh, so this one is kind of just for me. I didn't get the, the nicest piece. I, I got one that's slightly cheaper because it's just, uh, you know, it's just, it's just for me. Uh, so it's shoulders, it's veg tan, it's made in Poland. I haven't tried this before, so yeah. Today's the day. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and the other piece that I bought, this will be used for making straps to sell. Uh, Yeah, so this leather is a uh, vachetta, it's called. I don't remember the tannery's name. I'll post it. But anyway, it's an Italian... It's an Italian veg tan. It's very similar to the Tempesti one I used before. The color is different, but all the other characteristics are very similar. So that's what I'm going to try out today. I couldn't find this uh, Tempesti stuff that I've been using. Um, so I don't know how well this is going to show on the camera, but... The, the color is a lot different. This vachetta is really dark. It's a more burgundy, kind of maroon color. And this, uh, the Tempeste main Lizio one is, it's a lot lighter. It's more of a kind of golden burn. Um, but anyway, I think they both look good. So hopefully this vachetta is good. And uh, I'll show you the last thing I got some samples of. Okay, I'm going to try and keep from casting too many shadows here, but uh, probably it's going to happen. Anyway, this is uh, not a veg tan leather. This is crazy horse leather. Uh, so it's a chrome tan. It's made here in Lithuania. I've never tried it before, but the supplier I went to see said this is extremely popular just now at the moment. Apparently it has a lot of the qualities of veg tan. Um, so what I'm going to do is put that to the test, essentially. So the other day I made up some uh, keychains here. This one is with the old uh, Tempeste leather. Um, so I kind of know how that wears, but I want to compare it in real time to, to these. So this is the lighter of the crazy horse that's just going to stay on my keys. And I have this old keychain on one of my sets of keys here. So this one is an old veg tan that I used. It's a... Uh, maybe five or six years old, something like that. It's been used and worn down quite a lot. It would still be fine, to be honest, but I'm gonna try replacing it with one of these crazy horse leathers, uh, maybe this darker one. And I just wanna test them out, see how they wear over time. I doubt I'll ever use these for my main straps. I really like veg tan, but I don't know, it's useful to have this, this stuff's super cheap. Um, I think the veg tan, I bought the Vachetta one is like 70 euros per square meter or something in that range. And this one is 23 euros per square meter. So it gives you an idea of the difference in price. So I don't know, maybe for some projects it would be useful. I haven't to do this on my phone because I forgot my tripod. So I don't know how good or bad this is going to look, but 
Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for something like this. A little bit creepy outside the workshop today. This is my view out of the workshop. It's all misty. It's like something out of Sleepy Hollow. There's something lurking in the long grass. Yeah, pretty creepy. Okay, so I finished up with this. I uh, just made a new new keychain out of it. Um, and I'm gonna leave these for a few months. Just carry them around with me. I always find that the way I can wear things out the most is by keeping them in my pockets. Especially things like this where you're handling them all the time, you're touching them all the time. Uh, so this is quite a good way to, to test stuff. I've kind of simulated the end of one of the straps and uh, yeah this will get a lot of use so it's it's really good for me to to test out new kinds of leather this way and uh, yeah we'll see how this crazy horse one holds up also another thing to note one of the criticisms that chrome tan gets is the salts that are used in the, the tanning process for chrome tan uh, reacts with metals I've actually never found that to be a problem, but uh, anyway, this is a good way to to test that out and see if it uh, see if that does happen. I'll uh, see how they wear over time. I'll maybe give an update on that at some point. Uh, also, made myself this belt. Um, so this is also a buckle that I got from from Baltic Leather Supply. Um, yeah, just a simple design couple of rivets that's the three and a half to, to four mil uh, veg tan there and uh, made up some straps as well so yeah so I think that's us done for the day us me and me and Vincent so I'm gonna call it there but uh, yeah thanks for thanks for watching this and uh, I'll see you next time